Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's get to know Levy, the Urinosaurus. Urinosaurus is a peculiar species that lived in the European seas during the Jurassic period. It belonged to an amazing family called Leptonectidae. You can see that it has an elongated rostrum, which is its most intuitive feature. Urinosaurus came from ichthyosaurs and had evolved the mature body morphology very early. You know that in the early Jurassic, most ichthyosaurs still looked relatively primitive. The so-called primitive ichthyosaurs didn't have such prominent upper and lower caudal lobes. Their tails were more like that of an eel, and they did not have a well-developed dorsal fin. Their bodies were slender, with a wider head when viewed from above. They were not good swimmers and had to wriggle their whole body when swimming. Urinosaurus had developed a more fish-like body, while other ichthyosaurs still looked more like lizards. The most distinct feature of Urinosaurus is its rostrum. Its lower jaw is much shorter than its upper jaw. Some specimens show that its lower jaw is one-third of the upper one in length and some one second. In any case, the lower jaw was shorter, and there were sharply pointed teeth in its mouth. In nature, many animals, especially marine animals, have developed a similar structure, such as the sailfish and swordfish we are familiar with, as well as the marlin mentioned in the book, The Old Man and the Sea. They all have a relatively sharp rostrum. The Urinosaurus probably didn't have a sharp rostrum like such fishes do, the fishes mentioned above would use their rostrums to ram their prey and insert into the fish schools when hunting. The rostrum of Urinosaurus was not that strong. After all, with many small teeth at the front, its rostrum was unlike a simple cone that could easily penetrate the body of its enemy or prey. It also differentiated from fishes like the sawfish or the saw shark, which are characterized by an elongated, narrow rostrum lined with sharp teeth Arranged in a way that resembles a saw, the sawfish can slash their prey with its teeth. You can see some materials say that the sawfish waves its saw in the sea to cut the surrounding fish into halves. Urinosaurus couldn't do that, because its delicate teeth faced downward, and its rostrum was not as broad as a sawfish. If it moved like a sawfish and hit other animals, its rostrum might break. So what exactly its upper jaw was for has been a mystery. One theory is that Urinosaurus preferred to inhabit the seafloor. It would use its muzzle to stir a sediment for shellfish, or poke some soft animals such as squids and other mollusks. Judging from its body build, we know that Urinosaurus was not a high-speed swimmer. Its swimming speed was somewhere between slow-swimming ichthyosaurs and those high-speed ones, so it was a transitional species. Now that it couldn't swim at high speed, both speculations are possible. Now let's look at its body. Complete fossils of Urinosaurus have been found. It's clear that its limbs had evolved into flippers, which allowed it to swim well in the water. Another feature of it is its large eyes. The eyes allowed it to be a deep diver and see clearly in the dark environment of the deep sea, just like other ichthyosaurs such as Ophthalmosaurus. His is also important evidence for the theory that Urinosaurus used its muzzle to stir up the sediment on the seabed. Good, the above concludes our introduction of Levy the Urinosaurus. Thank you all.